been an incredible week for Ethereum so far, but the best is yet to come. In today's episode, we're going to cover all of the latest Ethereum news, as well as Ethereum technical analysis to let you know exactly where Ethereum is going to go in the next coming hours and days. Hello and welcome to the House of Crypto. I make videos about Ethereum as well as Cardano, VeChain, uh, Bitcoin and all the other major cryptocurrencies. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with all of the latest happening in the cryptocurrency market. Also, if you're interested in altcoin gems, then no one really does it better than the Crypto Bull. So make sure you head over to his channel as well. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out some of his latest videos where he is making some really great gains on very small cap altcoins that you may never have heard of. Without further ado, then let's get into the first piece of news on Ethereum. It's been a really memorable March for Bitcoin and Ethereum as adoption has skyrocketed. Now, obviously, it's been very quiet for Ethereum and a lot of people have been getting quite impatient, you know, as we saw a bit of a bit of a drop towards the end of February and that kind of continued through March, only picking up again in the last sort of seven days or so. But this is uh, extremely bullish and exciting news. Now, where, where it's actually probably quite beneficial for it to be slightly lower in terms of price is it allowed for mass institutional investments. The past 31 days have brought a lot of progress in the cryptocurrency industry, but it could be said that the adoption has seen the most progress. Institutional investors have been overcoming their fear of cryptocurrency for over a year now, and with each passing month, they have been more and more encouraged to join the sector and help it grow. Companies like Grayscale and MicroStrategy have invested millions on behalf of their clients. You know, many people don't really want to buy in when the prices are super high. So actually it's been probably beneficial to get these people on board and get a bit more money in. And overall, like, you know, much healthier for the long term, although it might have been uh, a bit boring throughout that last period. Uh, don't get me wrong, you know, obviously we like to see green days pumping every day, but obviously it's more realistic that we actually see some occasional downturns. And actually that's good opportunities for us to buy more and lower our cost averages. Okay, next piece of news and over on Yahoo Finance. Scaramucci Bitcoin is the apex predator, but Ethereum will be the actual store of value. So what he's saying is, you know, Bitcoin, obviously the original is always going to be the kind of go to for people who've never heard of it. People who want to get on board are always going to kind of jump into uh, Bitcoin first. But as they learn about all the other cryptocurrencies, they will tend to then sort of move into Ethereum and he'll tell us why he thinks it's the actual store of value. So Anthony Scaramucci, known Bitcoin proponent heading global investment firm Skybridge Capital, believes that the future of digital asset in investment portfolio is inevitable. Okay, he's saying here, uh, his own admissions that Skybridge's focus on Bitcoin may have more to do with his client's preferences rather than his own. I predicted Ethereum has good fundamentals and will grow, but I'm in an institutional sort of business. Okay, so he's saying, you know, has good belief in Ethereum. In recent months, Ethereum has risen in popularity and price after its use cases extended beyond just DeFi into the realm of NFTs. The second largest cryptocurrency by market cap has garnered support from high profile investors, including Mark Cuban, who recently revealed his bullish stance on Ethereum, which we talked about the other day, a hotbed of continuous innovation. You know, what, what doesn't sound like a great opportunity uh, about that. So, okay, this piece of news over on the street, it kind of like takes into account the last two pieces of news, but there's just one thing, uh, one key point that I want to draw your attention to, that in 2020, the average of $231 million was traded per day on spot exchanges, okay, in Ethereum. And that number has now averaging at around $2.7 billion. So that's basically a 10x increase in terms of trading volume. And that's in the space of one year, you know, potentially next year, you may even see the same, obviously, you know, we're, we're in the bull cycle now, but that there's belief that potentially the bull cycle could continue further as much more institutional investment gets involved. And the volume is just, you know, it speaks for itself. So this is a, a really exciting time. It also shows that actually maybe it's a much more kind of stable asset than it was perhaps back in 2017 where it had that huge pump before the dump. Okay, so this is obviously a very positive piece of news indeed. Okay, so jumping it over to the Investor Cube and this is one of the main piece of news for today and what we will go and check out in the charts in a moment. Ethereum price prediction ETH is ripe for a major breakout. So you've probably been thinking recently that we've been kind of breaking out and actually you know, it's been going quite well and it has, but in terms of a major breakout, we've, you know, we've seen increases 
uh, from around $2,000 up to around 2113 at the time of making this video. But you know, this is talking about the potential of going out towards our targets of the 2600 up to potentially $3,000 targets. And ripe for breakout means, you know, pretty much on, on the cusp of happening, which was the title of this video. And I'm gonna show you in a minute where we're kind of at with that. Okay, so ETH price also rallied because of relatively upbeat DeFi industry. In the past few days, the total value locked in the industry has jumped to a record of $51 billion. Some of the biggest DeFi platforms, TVL like Uniswap, Maker, and Compound has led this rally. The industry is important for ETH because most of the platforms are beat because most of the platforms are built on the Ethereum blockchain. So you know, like as as just kind of mentioned from Mark Cuban, DeFi obviously growing growing an insane amount, hitting record highs all the time. NFTs are getting talked about more and more every day. Ethereum itself is, you know, prime position for all of this, all of this kind of good stuff to happen on. And it's really exciting. And what an exciting time to be involved in this project. So without further ado then, let's jump on over into the Ethereum charts. So we had this ascending triangle pattern yesterday. And as I said yesterday, when these break out, they don't tend to shoot directly up to the top but they will tend to come back down to retest it. And as you see, it's turned this previous level of resistance and it's flipped it into support, which is very healthy to see. Now, if we actually want to change this pattern a bit and have a quick look at what's going on here, we actually could take this yellow line and we can move it up to around here. And actually this then becomes part of a slightly larger ascending triangle pattern gives us an indication of why we've had a bit of consolidation here. You know, obviously this is a significant level in that it's a, it's an all time high that we haven't seen before. Once we hit these levels, we tend to maybe come back and we have a bit more, uh, bit more pressure. Obviously guys who've been in it for a long period of time will be taking profits. You know, once we hit higher levels of around, you know, key levels, 2150, 2200, don't be surprised when people start taking profits, you know, some of these, some people might have been in it since, you know, $5, $10 who might be taking profits right now. Okay, so don't be surprised when people take profits and it does tend to maybe make the price stick a bit. However, you know, that's nothing to worry about because in my opinion, we're still going to see this push to the upside. And if we if we zoom out towards the daily, so as you see, we had the, we break out from this triangle with the blue top. And at the moment, we're still continuing that breakout, just a bit of consolidation along the way, which is perfectly healthy. And, you know, as we mentioned the other day from this target of this triangle, we still will see the breakout towards of 2000, approximately 2700. And as you can see, you know, if it, if it is to go up, it could potentially go further. And I think it will come potentially up towards this white bar level here, obviously, which would take it beyond 2700 but in terms of a price move from where we are right now up to around the 2700 move you know 27 percent on what's already been a fantastic week okay another pattern to be which is very clear to see here is this w pattern here you know double bottom with a higher higher shoulder later on which is obviously very bullish again has a similar breakout target however I don't I can't see it realistically breaking out of this white channel. I think what what could be a great trade for us is to watch it come up towards this level and potentially see it get rejected back down before a bit more of a consolidation period, which is perfectly healthy. You know, it happened here where it had the big uh, big bounce and then it took a break down to the downside from a, of about 34%. So, you know, it wouldn't be too unrealistic, I think, to see it come all the way up to around this level, maybe even come up towards $3,000 before taking a bit of consolidation period. As I mentioned, you know, the high levels, people will be taking profits. Just before I finish this video, then let's jump across to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, which is also doing something very cool uh, that we talked about the other day as well. So jumping across to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, we notice something very could is happening here as an ethereum holder we had this big uh big falling falling wedge pattern which has been forming for a long period of time and then we finally broke out that and we've climbed really nicely against that from that breakout period where it's taken about 13 percent off the price of bitcoin and you know again you know very much like the ethereum chart having a bit of a consolidation period but as you can see this one has already broken out and has come back down to retest and i'd like to see this then push up 
This would then take us from, at the moment, we're around 3.5 to 3.7% 3 of a Bitcoin, okay? All looking very healthy on the Ethereum front to me. So obviously trading is risky. Always go away and do your own research to make sure you protect yourself and don't lose any of your hard earned money. I hope you've enjoyed today's content. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps me to deliver this content to more people. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed and you like Ethereum, then make sure you hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the latest things happening in Ethereum news and Ethereum technical analysis. Thanks very much for today and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Thank you. Bye bye.